My name is Kevin Smith. Today I'm going to show the uh, new arbitrary function generator on the MSO 3 X 3000 series of oscilloscopes. To be very clear, if you have the WaveGen on this 3000X scope already, the firm, a firmware upgrade gives you the arbitrary capability. From the 2000X, there's no ARB capability, and you don't have as many waveforms available. Let's start from default setup. And we'll default it even more by with factory default. All right. Let's take a look at the wave gen real quick. Arbitrary is new on the 3000X. So these lower functions, sine cardinal, exponential, exponential, cardiac, Gaussian, not available on 2000. All right. <clears throat> so I'm also going to use the education, one of the features in the education kit. Okay, I'm going to click the help button for the training signals, and I want to use the amplitude modulated sine wave. What we're going to do is we're going to capture this signal on channel 1 and then spit it out of the function generator and see it again on channel 4. So I've already selected my training signal. I'm going to turn it on. All right, channel 1's found that. We're going to auto scale on that. Okay. We go to a longer time per division. we can see that we're not well triggered. So first of all, let's increase the trigger level to something a bit more useful. We know this is an AM waveform. That's probably a good spot. We're going to go to trigger mode coupling. We're going to first of all set it to normal triggering. And as usual to trigger on an AM waveform, we want to increase the hold off. And as you can see, I've already got a much uh, better waveform. I'm going to increase the intensity just to 100%. Okay, 100%. And if we zoom in on this, I have a nice clean sine wave. It's making up our AM waveform. Now what we want to do is we want to find a nice spot to capture the waveform at. So we're going to adjust our delay settings a little. Oop, too much there from the remote GUI. We mostly want to capture one cycle. One complete cycle of this AM waveform. You'll notice also that there's a glitch in some of these. That's probably a good enough spot. Now we're going to go to the wave function generator again. Ah, I tricked myself. We need to go back to the AM sine wave. Turn that back on. And here's the trick. You get a single trigger the scope. There we go. Now when I go to my wave gen, I want to go to settings. For waveform, in fact, I want to select arbitrary mode. Okay. Now I can select edit waveform. And I want, this is the key soft key, source to ARB. I sucked that right in. All right, so now what I can do <clears throat> is if I turn on my channel four, and I'm gonna set my trigger to channel four as well. I can see that I've already basically caught that that AM waveform. That's pretty cool. I do want to put this, however, into auto mode. All right. And again, you know, with channel four, on channel four, we need to change our trigger and our settings. So let's do that again. Trigger, edge channel four. 
mode. If we look at the wave function generator, right, it's set to 50 kilohertz, okay, which is not the frequency that's the previous sign-in. So we're going to go back to, um, we're going to increase the trigger level again by going to trigger. changing our trigger source. Okay. We hit single. We see that we are capturing that our, the AM waveform, but we do have a little bit of goop right here, which is from the previous, which is from the way we captured it. Captured it. So what we need to do is um, go back to the waveform generator, edit the waveform, edit the existing waveform, and we're just going to start removing lots and lots of points until we're very 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 happy with our with the way our waveform form looks and this will take a little bit that's okay while we're here I want to point out that you can switch between points number of points uh, to scale this little box across the screen if I wanted to edit a different portion of the waveform. If I wanted to be real careful, there we go, I could edit out this glitch. I don't want to be that careful though. Alright, we need to keep removing these points. probably until we get to about here where it's nice and flat. We'll do this on the other end and we'll have a fairly clean AM waveform besides the glitch. For the purposes of this demo that's probably good enough. Let's go take a look at the other end though. Actually, that's looking pretty good. We could kill off a few points here. Excellent, excellent, excellent. All right. Now, if we go back to channel four, and we single trigger it again, you notice that this part of the waveform looks much cleaner. You know, for a running mode trigger, we would again adjust the hold off until we get a nice stable waveform. I think I went just a little far there. There we go. That's pretty good. Nice stable waveform. Now the question for the interested <coughs> uh, video watcher is how to trigger directly <coughs> on this glitch. I will leave that to the interested uh, viewer, but the tip is use a negative pulse with trigger. Thank you for your attention.